Hey everyone, Jesse Schoolcraft Family Farmstead again. Today I'm selling my old blue truck here. It's a 59 C40. Um, I'm assuming it was probably it probably used to be a grain truck. I used it as a wood hauler uh, to load or uh, bring firewood up to the boiler. Um, but I let it sit for a few years. Shame on me. Uh, several years back, I went to start it and the brake pedal went to the floor. So I'm assuming the master cylinder had gone bad. And uh, then I brought it down here and parked it and uh, never got around to fixing the brakes. Shame on me, I know. I, I hate that I did that. And now I'm to the point where it just probably makes more sense for me to sell it. Um, I've got too many other irons in the fire right now. So um, I'm gonna get all my money back on it though, thankfully probably actually make just a little bit too but um, I'm gonna use 4430 here with the loader I uh, got somebody on uh, on their way right now should be here in about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna help them get it loaded up if it fits their trailer he's not too sure it will but I mean he's driving two and a half hours so hopefully he makes it work but anyway um, that's what I'm taking care of today goes kind of sad to get rid of it but I just wasn't gonna have the time to fix it up like it needed so got another one cleaned up he's gonna he's telling me he has a Dodge chassis and uh, he's gonna take the cab and the fenders off of my truck there and he's got a Cummins engine He's gonna put that Dodge chassis and uh, put the cab and the fenders on that Dodge chassis with a Cummins engine, which will be cool to see. But pushed it up there, the old 4430 here, so that he can be on his way. It actually went really smoothly. That truck fit that trailer like a glove. Just a perfect fit on all sides. And uh, like it was meant to be, the old 4430 got the job done again. Just turned over 9,900 hours in the old 4430 here. So I would say probably here in a couple months or so, it'll be turning over 10,000 once we start bailing hay. Uh, hopefully you can hear me because it's awfully windy today. But uh, hopefully the wind isn't messing up the microphone too bad. So I'm going to get the tractor put up, eat some lunch, and find something else. Well, it's actually been a little while since I sold my old truck. Still seems so weird. This is where it was parked. Still seems so weird with it not being here. Uh, even before uh, I had it parked here, Uncle Larry had an old uh, Chevy green truck without a bed that was parked here for as long as I could remember. It, uh, it was probably, had probably been parked here since about the time that I was born. I'll put a picture that I took probably I don't know eight ten years ago from uh, up on top of the hill looking down in this area so you can see the truck that I'm talking about but uh, now this is kind of interesting I've got some sort of plant you can see right ooh, right there growing where the truck was and I'm not 100% sure what it is yet. It looks like some sort of squash plant. And I have no idea how the seeds got there. Uh, it's literally like uh, right about where the... Underneath where the engine was. So we'll see what comes up and what grows. Um, I've got three more plants growing in the... Oh my gosh, the bugs. Three more plants growing in the manure pile this year as well. Uh, last year I had some, uh, I think it was butternut squash that grew there. And we'll see what comes up this year. I'm assuming there'll probably be more butternut squash. And I'm assuming, uh, well, I have no idea what that could be. Uh, but last year we had the butternut squash. So I've got a total of four different, uh, what appear to be squash plants growing. Um, they've all started to flower. 
and hopefully we'll make some good, my gosh, these bugs, some more good unintentional food for us. I'm hoping to get some pumpkin seeds planted too that'll hopefully mature just before Halloween. And we'll see what happens there though. I'll make a video about that. Been baling a lot of hay. You can see one kind of, oh, I gotta figure, remember which way to turn. Yeah, here we go. One little mini hay bale there. Uh, that was what was left from what we baled here and the goats have worked on it some. But we uh, bailed 24 five by fives out on Old Morgantown Road and then uh, we're heading down in the hole that we call it. It's way down in this holler on Townsend Road to bail there. And uh, we'll see what the rain does. It looks like it might either rain overnight or rain some tomorrow. But I'll make some uh, more hay baling videos. I haven't gotten really any good ones for this year, but I hauled the rest of the hay home today from Old Morgantown Road and uh, hopefully get the stuff down on Townsend Road bailed. Um, depending on what the weather does, maybe tomorrow if the weather cooperates, but I doesn't look promising. And if not tomorrow, then probably Monday after we get it tedded and let it dry out, rake it and bale it. But if you'd like and subscribe, like this video, subscribe to my channel. There, I'll get it straightened out. I'd appreciate it. And hopefully I can get some more videos. Looks like I gained a couple of subscribers today, which is nice. Get those watch hours up. Hopefully get the channel monetized soon. But we'll see you next time. Take care and have a good weekend.